Hello everyone. On a day-to-day -day basis, we'll have to make a lot of appointments. Usually, we go to the Outlook and click on New Items and click on Appointment and make the appointments. But what if we have a bulk of appointments to make? We can't waste time by sitting and creating each of these appointments, right? For that, we'll see how we can automate that process using VBA. All right. Here, I have a set of data wherein I have to make appointments on. For example, I have the subject lines here, fun activity, production analysis, and so on. I have the location for each of these activities. Now, the location here is meeting room 185, meeting room 204, etc. If you have an online meeting, you can also give your meeting ID instead of the location. I have the start time. The start time is in this format, that is the date and the time. It is in 24 hour format. You also have the end time here. Then you have the required attendee, attendees separated by comma. You have the optional attendees and you have the body for the message. Let us see how we can automate these appointments in a single click. For that, let us open the Visual Basic Editor. To open it, go to the Developer tab and click on Visual Basics. We can also use Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basics Editor window. Click here, right click and insert a new module. We'll write our code in this area. Let us start writing the code here. Let us open the subroutine here. Sub create appointment and enter. We'll give some space here so that we can write the code inside the sub and end sub. Now, since we are using the Outlook application to create the appointment, let us install the reference. Go to Tools, click on References, and select Microsoft Outlook 16.0 Object Library. We can see that in this list and select Microsoft Outlook 16.0 Object Library. Let's click on it and click OK. Now let us start writing the code. Let us declare the outlook.application dim all as outlook.application. Let's declare the appointment item dim OLAP. Sorry, let's write OLAP as Outlook. dot appointment item let's click enter next set ol is equal to new outlook dot application let's create the appointment item now for that set ol ap is equal to ol dot create item inside bracket oil appointment item bracket closed click enter now we have a lot of data here and this is dynamic data so next time someone adds a line here the number will be 10 the last row will be 11 the last row will be 12 so it has to be dynamic so let us find out what is the last row in this sheet so let's write dim lr as long so lr is a keyword i'm giving to find the last row you can give any keyword for that i'm using lr and i'm using the data type as long now i'll also declare the worksheet so that it is easy to use it along the code dim ws as worksheet and enter let me declare what ws is set ws is equal to this workbook 
dot sheets in bracket the sheet name. Here the sheet name is sheet one. So click enter. Now let me set the value for LR. So LR is the last row here and let's declare it. LR is equal to WS dot cells in bracket ROS dot count comma one bracket closed dot end in bracket excel up bracket closed and dot row this line of code will help us get the last row of this data set click enter now let us start the for loop so for i is equal to one to last row so it is asked the loop will go into i is equal to one to last row but here as you can see the first row is the heading we do not want the first row so we will tell for i is equal to 2 to last row let's start the loop with ol ap that is the item we have created the appointment item enter dot subject is equal to now the subject here is the first column so ws that is a worksheet dot cells in bracket the raw index is 2 but it will change so it will be i comma the column is always 1 for subject bracket closed next dot location is equal to ws dot cells in bracket i and the column index is 2. Enter. Now dot start. Here we have to declare the start time. The start time is in the third column. Let us copy this line so that we can paste it here and change the column index. Instead of 2, it will be 3. Next, we want the end time is equal to instead of 3, it will be 4 because end time is in fourth column. Now we have required attendees. Required attendees is in column number 5. Next, we have optional attendees. The list of optional attendees in, is in column number 6. Make sure the optional attendees column is in 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, as you can see, the optional attendees column was in H. So let's change the number into 8. Whichever column you have the value under, you have to write that column index here. Next, enter, and we want the body, B O D Y. Now, body is in column number H I, so it will be 9. Now, here is the data we have to write inside the width. Let's close the width. So we'll write end width. And let us close the loop also. So for i is equal to 2 to lr, let us close it by writing next i. Now we have created all the data here, but we need to send the appointment as well. So after body, let us write dot send. By writing send here, the VBA will send the appointment automatically. Now, for demonstration, I'll write display here instead of send. Let's try working out with that. You can click on run. 
and as you can see the VBA has created all the appointments it has not been sent it is just displaying to us now because the court has asked it to display now let me close it and not save it and if I click this display and change it to send the VBA code will automatically send all the appointments instead of just displaying it to us. I click send and the code has been over. Now, if you want a demonstration or if you want an alert that the code has been sent or the appointments has been set, let us create a message box here. Message box appointments have been created. Let us run this code again. See, appointments have been created. This is how you can create bulk number of appointments using a single click. I hope this video was clear to everyone. Please subscribe to my channel for more such videos.